Sorry, buddy. So, remember, I'm in the basement, so don't be offended if you're offended by me being in the basement. Oh, that's where my diamond painting table is. So, so I have my nice long bench that my husband built me, and I have no extra for a car after him because I got three kids, and yeah, I don't have room for that. But anyway, hi, I'm Patrice. I am a diamond painting addict. Hi. I thought about doing a diamond addicts meeting kind of Facebook group. Um, I try to focus it on where, you know, everybody likes to get stuff and then kind of categorize it and maybe have like, you know, Mondays are going to be containers. So everybody post your favorite container under this. Um, thread uh, Tuesdays could be your favorite special paintings that you've done and where you've gotten them and I was kind of thinking maybe that'd be kind of fun to do that way be like okay Monday remember if you just got some new containers in and you want to show a picture of them and tell us where you got them you got a great deal I don't know these are my thoughts I don't know. I get these thoughts sometimes so fun things to do but anyway that's just a thought I have in my head but we'll See how long that lasts. So, I already opened the package because I didn't have time to do a video yesterday. Too much going on, but I wanted to have it opened, check it out, make sure I got everything. So, I did a little spoiler video that I got stuff from Tiva. Yes, Mrs. Coffee, what you call it? I don't know if that's her real name or I know her name Tima. I'm not sure where the Tima came from, but anyway, so. I have a DP with sparklers, so let's check them out. So. Okay, so trying it with a camera across from me instead of angled sort of behind me, not sort of behind me, so we'll see if this goes better for filming. So, then I did a TikTok like this a couple days, so I'm going to see if I like this angle better. So, first I got a sticker sparklers so pretty and then i'm not sure what this is um i'm guessing this is a sample of her jellies maybe and then the pretty gold ones so i'm guessing this might be just a sample of some of the other ones that she has available so i thought that was pretty cool it's nice and sparkly and then that's her business card with all her information which i will put in the description of the video and if you've ever um, bought and watched Mrs. Coffee and Rachel Ray and a couple of the other ones, every, a lot of, uh, but this is my first. A lot of the big YouTubers like to buy from her because she's got fun stuff. So I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to get. And then I decided that I had heard a couple people and saw a couple of people buying the quads. And I thought, you know, let me get like a basic color um quads so that way i can try them out and see if i like them so i've i got one eight of them couldn't remember how many i picked up so i got scarlet so pretty red this one's an orange ab it says mm. And then I got a yellow AB. And then we've got a green AB. So I thought these would be fun if I had a painting with flowers and replacing some of the petals and the center of the flowers with some of these. So, so I got a couple different colors. Blue. It's royal blue. This one's lavender. My favorite color. Purple. And I got smoke. They're all going the other way. Oh, turn around. There's a black silver somewhere. Not much. <laughs> Hold on. 
Let me get a drink. So she was out of her sample one, so I kind of made my own. So I got a hundred pieces of each color. So I thought that'd be a good start. And then I think I'm gonna maybe order so as a smoke um jellies next time. Try those out. So they're supposed to take four place of four squares of light. And then this one's just clear ice, it's called. So it's like a um clear sparkler. So that's those guys. And they came in their own cute little pink. I love these. These um when I give my key tags, or not my key tags, yeah, my keychains or magnets or um, some of the smaller little diamond painting things you can give as a gift, you know, give as something to go along with a gift or a gift card. I love to keep these little bags because they make great things to put it in there. And then, um, so that's what I'll um, save that for to pack one of those. Let me stick those over there out of the way. So, I decided I would start Christmas shopping. So, I got two. One, two, three. All right, I'll do a little one first. A little, little error, I guess. So, I hit got a uniform. <sighs> two weeks ago, maybe. And I'm going to do that for my husband's um, second cousin. And then I decided that I would also do one for her brother. So I'll probably be kidding this one up soon. And so I got him. Are poor glue, so you can do that. Let me uh, put you in closer. Okay. Let me see the dinosaur. So he is special drills, um, but it's a full. I mean, it's everything is drilled except for his teeth and his eye. That's the only spot on this camera. So it's a good amount of drilling. So I'm happy with that. Um, but it's not very big. It's a, I don't even know because my measuring tape is still MIA. I don't know where it is. Might just have to order another pack. I buy those little retractable ones. Like they come in like a four or six pack, I think, on Amazon. I have to buy more because I probably uh, lost it to a child. So he's got regular crystals and then he's got some of the bigger ones. So her toolkit is your basic, I call it bare bones. Um, a lot of people, some people call it basic, some people call it um, other things, but you have your green belt, your wax, and then your pink pen. And these are good too. I know I think I've said it before a while ago. These bags that the kits come in, you may say, oh, I don't need another pink pen. But if you buy these kind of pens, then you need to keep the pink pens or just keep the tops so you can replace them. After a while, the brass gets all beat up, and I just take the whole plastic thing off and put a new one in. But the bags, so say I was going to do a partial, and I wanted to just keep the diamonds in the baggies. This is a very easy way to store it, is in one of these guys. Or... Like, um, right now, my extras for 310 and some of the other colors need a bigger bag, so I'll keep these for that, too. 
mix. It's nice to use, reuse things like that. I mean, these green trays are great for other things too. Um, when I seal my stuff with Mod Podge, that's what I use on the tray. So I'll take some out and put it on there to use it. Especially if um, I'm halfway through the jar and then I can't. Just dip my brush in it. I'll scoop some out with my brush and put it on the tray. And it's also, I like to leave them on my tray. After I clean them, I'll put them on a new one. And that way it dries and it doesn't stick to anything just in case there's still some glue on it. Um, and they're also good for paint. If you want to put some paint on it and do a little painting. So yeah. They have lots of uses. So let's get into them. So we have 20. So there are, yeah, 20 colors. So, I'll put 22 of them on there, but this one has S9. So on the package, it has the corresponding number letter to match your canvas if you do separate them. And so let's see what we got. The reason why I ordered is because I've been itching to do one of Amy's. I have four, I think. Four of Amy's canvases to do, and I've been itching to do another crystal, and I thought, oh, you know what? That'd be really cool. Because I looked at a couple other dinosaur ones, but they were so dark. I'm like, you know what? This one looks fun. It's small enough. Like, I don't even think it's a true 30 by 40. It might be a little smaller. Small enough that I could totally do this one it won't take me long and then I'll be able to frame it which is fine in a frame at a store so. so we got some big greens some big oranges some medium sized oranges some medium sized yellow and some medium sized reds and all the rest are the normal I don't know when I pick this up after I'm done. <laughs> so, I'll go back to the beginning. Ew, this is a fun glue. So, your typical clear. Seen it, seen it at all. Red. Purple. Another blue. Yellow. Ooh, I like that color. Green. Darker green. Do a dark purple. A little bit of pink on the dino. Orange. More green. That's the background color. A darker orange. And a another red so not bad 20 colors I mean 20 colors is definitely something that is if you're gonna do it as like a weekend project so that way you can give it as a gift definitely a very doable project so let me get the other one so the other one this one says it's a 30 by 30 is I noticed that these are becoming more popular. Um, I got some from Amazon a while ago that was like one of those, I think it's a, it was either a six or a five pack. And I had a couple horses and some tigers. And they had this, this is something I'm gonna make for my mother. So actually I bought two gifts. This one, right, this. Tulips. Tulips are my mother's favorite flower. So I was gonna make this one for her birthday, which is also two days after Christmas, so 
fun time. So. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. So it's kind of one of those ones that you can put it anyway. I guess. So this one says it's a 30 by 30 and then it's got this really nice border so I can get a frame to fit this and not even have to worry about the sides. And I don't have to worry about washi tape really because it's pretty much right to the edge so that's nice. So this one's got 15 colors and it's got crystals and then it looks like it's got some of the same ones. Like the ones that are a little bit bigger. So yeah. Oh, I didn't. Did I stick my finger on the dinosaur? I don't know. Nice and sticky. It's um, the stiffer canvas. So it's got the sparkly glitter canvas. Um, looks like it'll lay out flat. No problem here. Just leave it out and open for a little bit. So let's. Same. Um, no thrills, no trill, no thrills, no chills. Um, I've been saying a bare bones. So I guess I'll stick with bare bones. So I wanted to order the specials, like I said, because I really wanted to do, um, another one of the fun canvases from Amy. So, this is what I'm doing instead of start because I'm really trying to not start another canvas because I really um right now I have my owl going I have a horse one I started and then I have my custom that I'm working on so I have three canvases going right now the owl I literally have three spots left for so or three spots left on so I'll be very happy when that's done because it looks so nice right now so we got purple, my favorite color, medium, big purple, medium purple, and then a little bit smaller purple. So that's 15. And the rest are regular. So we'll start from the back. We got dark purple, red, another purple. Green, red, like a um, brown, okay. dark green. Ooh, look at that pretty pink. Another red, brighter pink, yellow, and then that lime green color. So. Like I said, we got 15, so that's a good amount, and it's already, um, you could, if you don't want to frame frame it, you could take, um, I had done this with a Christmas, a couple Christmas ones I did for gifts, take, um, that styrofoam, I don't know where it is, I had leftover, that, um, styrofoam board, double-sided, um, take double-sided adhesive, put it on the back you'd want to seal it because it's not going to have glass to keep the dust off of it and stuff seal it you know cut it obviously to where these lines are and then take and put double-sided um, sticky tape on the back so that way if you just if whoever you to decide down the road they want to actually put it in the frame they could then just end up peeling it off because it would just be double-sided tape which wouldn't be too hard peel off yeah you could do that like if you wanted to do like say that you know you were just going to literally display display this one because it's tulips like a springtime one and you're just going to bring it out for spring you could just do that foam board and then do that um what's that hanging stuff the um that hanging hook the stuff that's back on the on the back of the hooks i forget the name of it and now it escapes me, but you could just do some of that stuff that like the kids use for posters and hang that up because it's not very big. And then when springtime's over, you can take it down and put up something different. So it's a thought. I mean, because it's already framed out like a picture. So definitely a 
easy one to do. It's only a 30 by 30 and AC 915. Yep, AC 915. So they're pack same packaging. It has the same code on here so you can match them back up. Okay, so that's it. I mean, what I do when I'm. Oh, let me put these back. So, say, um, like I have those art portfolio things, and I put my 30 by 40s, you know, the 30 by 30s, the ones that fit in the size I have, and I put those in there. So they stay nice and flat and they're organized. And then what I do is, I know it has the number and corresponds, but what I do is I put a post-it in there and I'll say special drill tulip. So I know when I look at this canvas that that's what that is about. Even looking at the numbers, quicker for me to find and grab. Plus I have so many um, regular drill canvases that it's easier for me to write down, um, you know, Pink Minnie Mouse with friend, partial Bambi, so that way it's easier. And then I'll always double check when I grab it, make sure they match the number and the drills. So, yeah, I do have um, a good selection of ones. And I honestly wasn't going to buy. And then I ended up buying um, two from Ben and Art Club and then two from Amy or um, from Tina. Because I was also going to buy some from Amy. And I'm really trying to not. I'm going to try to get through at least five more canvases. It's my goal to have five more canvases finished. Before I order um, anything bigger than a 30 by 40. So, trying to be good. So, we'll see how it goes. So, remember, diamond painting is fun. It is a craft. It is for relaxation it's to enjoy an art is to just be able to do something to help uh relax your mind bye guys